another semi-trailer load of eggs leaving the Lindale farm in Morwell. Around 1.8 million eggs are produced here each week. The operation is fully automated and computer controlled. No eggs are touched by human hands. The least work the better. So we, uh, we, we've gone pretty well fully automated. It's partly just a press button show. We just dial up what we need and uh, use that accordingly. It's um, a, a very, basically a very simple business to run from the point of view that you, everything is in, documented in place, everything, we've set, all systems are there, so that now it just virtually runs itself. This state-of-the-art egg farm operates at world's best practice. The latest technologies in animal science minimise costs and maximise production. It's the culmination of decades of work for brothers Gill and Laurie Powder, reflecting their vast knowledge and experience in the egg industry. We started there in 64, my brother and I together, and um, developed it from there onwards, and it's, it's been growing ever since. It's a fulfilment of all our life's work, I guess. It's just gone a bit extra, a bit extra, and if you don't reinvent yourself, you won't be here. So uh, we feel good because of that. Lindale is one of the largest egg farms in Victoria, with more than 270,000 laying birds producing more than 21,000 dozen eggs every single day. But it can get much bigger. It has the planning permits and egg processing systems in place to increase the operation to house up to one million laying hens. You need to be a large scale to have the critical mass um, because all the little costs, if, you, if you're too small, add up. And when you're a large and got more output, it's a, it's a lot easier to manage the whole place. We're very economical, we're at good size and the way it goes here, we have a very efficient team. We only have four people outside running the farm and plus the grading four people. Things have changed since the brothers started almost 50 years ago. Back then, farms were small and labour intensive. We could see the old way the industry was going. And so in 1996, we, my brother and I went overseas to look at what's happening over Europe and uh, uh, Japan. When we went to, to Japan, we, looked, we wanted to see the oldest farm and the newest farm and wanted to see what the big differences were. And FACO seemed to be leading the field in quality. So it was a good system, so we, we, we ran with that. And then we moved into the new high-rise system we have now, which is no heat stress, they cool the whole time, about 24 degrees all year round, and automation. So we seem it all come from hand operation to fully automatic. Today, the farm has six laying sheds with birds housed in cages that are six decks high. Egg collection, manure removal, temperature control and feeding are all automated. Feeding is driven by science to maximise egg output. We are right up there with the world's best practice. Um, with the welfare of the birds, the feeding, we have our own nutritionist in New Zealand who formulates the rations for us. On the feed, feed conversion factor, we used to use about two kilos of feed per kilo of egg, now we're down to 1.8, 1.6. We use a bee double probably six days a week, uh, and that's about 36 tonne a day. We know how much they, uh, a shed eats a day, like a, the shed we're in at the moment eats about five and a half tonne a day. We then work out that there's 50,000 birds in the shed, they eat five, a bit over five tonne a day. This shed, for instance, is eating 100, 100 grams a day of feed per bird, so we model that very closely. The hens are fed up to eight times per day by fully automated feeders that bring food in from the silos. Each shed receives a different food mix. It depends what age the birds are. If a bird's eating 100 grams a day, we formulate for 100 grams a day so they get the proper amount of food in that 100 grams. The older birds might be eating 110 grams a day, 115 grams a day, so we formulate a different feed for that. Productivity is so much better, you're getting, ending up with the old days, you said 240 eggs for the life of the bird. Now we're sitting up around about 360. It's not how much feed costs a ton, it's how much it costs to produce a dozen eggs. So we use a higher quality feed. So our costs at the moment are about 60 cents a dozen with feed, and um, that's the main, major operation cost of all. Maintaining constant temperatures is a key part of keeping laying productivity high. Fully automated evaporative cooling systems maintain a constant 24 degrees. We run a cross ventilation system because the air gets from one side to the other quickly and uh, it's, we feel it's more efficient. A lot of sheds run tunnel ventilation and you get a lot of heat down the bottom end of the shed because it has to be exhausted over a long distance so this system seems to work well for us. Managing manure is important to ensure the hens stay healthy and produce high quality eggs. 
Manure is separated from the birds and is automatically air dried to eliminate fumes. Any fuming from the manure uh, will upset the bird's uh, digestive system. So if you've got a lot of ammonia rise from the uh, manure, which you will have if you don't have air drying, the bird suffers eggshell quality. Maintaining hen health is critical. The sheds have airlocks and security grills to keep diseased wild birds out, and all hens are properly vaccinated. From the chicken to the farm gate, egg handling is fully automated. After laying, the eggs roll to a belt in front of the cage. The belt delivers the eggs to a riser at the end of each row. It picks the eggs up and sends them to a conveyor that runs through the roof of each shed. The flow of eggs quickly becomes a flood, with the conveyors taking the eggs all the way to the grading room and packing building. The eggs uh, feed into the, into the building uh, from all the sheds, collected. They're collected at a rate of around 100, 120,000 eggs an hour. The grading machine does all the processing work automatically. The first stage is a leaker inspector. It rejects cracked eggs and sends them to the pulping plant. Then a special machine picks up every egg and orientates them in the same direction, ready for the following stages. Next, the eggs are thoroughly washed and air dried. Then the egg inspector checks the shell for dirt and uses a special light to look inside the eggs for irregularities or blood spots. Another machine rechecks the eggs for any cracks. Then they pass through a sterilisation machine that uses ultraviolet light to eliminate any bacteria. The final step in grading is to weigh each egg. The computer recognises every egg individually and sends it to its correct packing lane or rejects it for use in the on-farm pulp plant. They might get um, undersized eggs that are too small to sell. They go, they go for pulping. Uh, oversized eggs that are too big to go in cartons, they can go for pulping. And of course the cracked eggs. Very few farms have their own pulp plant. It ensures no production is wasted and generates an important additional income stream. The eggs are crushed, pasteurised and homogenised before being packed into 10 kilo bags. They're then blast frozen and sold to the food manufacturing industry. We're processing every second week at the moment and we can process every week we have to. Back in the egg room, packing has commenced. The computer delivers each egg to the right place and automatically packs it into cartons or trays. The staff pack those into boxes which are automatically sealed and taken to cool rooms ready for dispatch. We have 12 on the grading floor. They keep working and they work you know, they're very hard. They, they do a very good job and our best asset is our staff. When the trucks come, the eggs ship far and wide. The farm's biggest customer is Woolworths, with eggs going to every state except Queensland. Quality assurance is strictly controlled and monitored. We have a small lab which we does our testing for whore units. That's the thickness of the white, to make sure they're fresh. Yolk colour, shell thickness. We have a very good QA program um, that, that is Woolworths certified, Australian Egg Corp certified, DPI certified and HACCP certified. Um, they're all pretty much mixed in into one, one program. Packed eggs generate the farm's main income, with egg pulp sales also an important revenue stream. Other revenue is the fertiliser or fowl manure, which is, a, is a, we're booked up three or four months ahead all the time for that. This goes mainly goes on the pasture. Uh, spread on the pasture for dairy farmers. Once a week, every Tuesday, we run all the sheds out with manure. It runs into a, a large manure shed, and that same day it's taken away by, by trucks and spreaders. We, we have about 180 cubic metres of manure a week, and we get up 18 to $20 a metre for that, so uh, it adds up. Lindale and Latrobe Valley Farm Fresh is a very impressive operation. With backup power generation and multiple water sources, nothing has been left to chance. And all the systems have been built to allow the staff to run the business. And we've uh, set the place up so we have a uh, farm manager outside, our general manager inside who's the, uh, also the QA manager. And everything's just set up in place so it just comes, to one person steps out and another person steps in. We've deliberately set it up like that because we're, we're getting older and we like to make it life more simple. The property includes a four bedroom house for the farm manager. The farm raises many of its replacement hens from chicks. 
and there is ample free land to allow future development. Meanwhile, the business has immediate potential to drastically increase production. The old style laying sheds on the farm are currently unused, but they can be redeveloped to hold up to 800,000 additional laying hens. Because we can still, uh, we've got the permits in place, we can run on the same footprint. We can go 6 decks high like these sheds are here, or we can go 8 decks high. In some place in the Europe they go 6 decks high, have a mezzanine floor and go another 6 decks, so almost the sky's the limit. The grading room and pulp plant have been built to accommodate future expansion of that magnitude. We're only really running at 50% capacity because we, the grader only one, runs Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. It's a very efficient grader and uh, so we only employ staff three days a week. That leaves us heaps of capacity for, for more expansion. You could put a, at least six, eight hundred thousand extra birds. Depends how long you want to run the grader. I'm just talking eight hours a day. We're all in house, fully vertically integrated. We raise our own birds. We uh, grade eggs. We process the eggs. So nothing, everything's done here in the house. Laurie and Gil Powder have done all the hard work. This business operates at world's best practice in every regard. It is a highly automated operation with the most modern equipment and it has a dedicated staff who are committed to working with the business. Already a highly profitable venture, everything is in place to allow this business to be taken to the next level. To find out more and access the formal information memorandum, contact the farm's representative, Nat McCurry. Call Nat on 0418 312 605 or contact him through the website bngroup.com.au